Hello everyone. I am going to do a quick training on creating a brand and creating graphics and being consistent with it. So um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make graphics in Canva. So you just sign up with canva.com. It's free. Um, it is computer based but there is an app on your phone so the first thing it'll pull up see there's my um, profile is the create a design now there's different types of um, templates that you can use so I use the social media one for my Instagram and Facebook so social media basically I don't do the separate Instagram post I think the social media one is just fine um, there's Facebook cover us these are the ones that I you know that are most common um, you can also custom customize your dimensions but they have a ton so I'm clicking more and you can already see um, these are the most popular um, the type of social media graphics you can make um, or templates there are, are the, for Twitter just general social media Pinterest Facebook um, posts, the Facebook app, Tumblr, Instagram. Then there's also documents, US Letter. I use these for my uh, Jamberry business um, presentation. There's two different kinds, um, regular size and just papers. Magazine, I've done that. Letterhead, resume, certificate. Blogging and eBooks, um, there's the different templates for those. Marketing, marketing materials. Um, you can create a business card. I've done that. Um, it's two different ones for there. This is new. I haven't looked at that. Logo. That's what we'll create first. Um, I'll show you how to do that. And then social media and email headers. Um, there's all the different kind of headers. Um, if uh, you have a YouTube channel, you can make a, a channel art that will show up when someone goes to your channel. So that's really important um, to have. Also the YouTube thumbnail. So when you record a YouTube video, it will just do a, a screenshot of one of one second of when you did your video. And usually it's not the most flattering shot of you. So you can create a thumbnail that'll show up at the, you know, when people are, um, are just on your channel. It's that freeze frame will be the artwork that you create. Um, all kinds of different things. Uh, events, I use this for a postcard. I created my um, Jamberry postcards through there and then I upload them to Vistaprint and have them printed through Vistaprint. And I, this is the small size postcard. You can do a regular car, all kinds of different things um, and different ads. So let's go back up to the logo and do that first. So you click that and what happens is it pulls up another tab or another window and Canva has a lot of different layouts that you can just choose and you can change the text but if you like the overall color scheme and so forth you can do that um, you can also upload your own pictures I've uploaded the Jamberry logo um, I have a bunch of stuff that I need to go through and erase See, there's another logo um, or you can just do background. There's um, the default palette of colors, the grayscale, and they have a lot of free different backgrounds. In Canva, I have the free version, um, but I can also choose to buy different things for a dollar each. Or I could do the paid version and I get a lot more, but I think the free version is enough. What I usually do though is I go up to document colors and it brings the color wheel and you can put in the hex code for your business colors. So what I've done is I copied the hex codes for the Jamberry colors. So I can, in my notes, I put it in my notes section on my computer um, or if you have stickies or something like that. And then I just copy and paste that hex code and voila, you have that color. Okay. Um, if I want to add text, there again, there are a lot of free templates which are really cool. 
um, but you can create your own. So let's go ahead and do one um, of the pre-created ones and I'll show you how you can change it up. Um, I want something kind of simple for your logo. Let's just do this one. So it's going to populate your square and it has the two colors. So if I wanted to go and change those, I could. So let's do that. You just click that. Again, I'm going to press the plus button. I'm going to go back to my saved colors. Let's do the slate. So that made it that pretty gray color. And then I'm going to choose the cream color and I'm going to change that to the fig. Okay. Um, then for the actual text, you can change it to whatever you would like it to be. So if I wanted this to be my um, Kim J. Tucker Jams, voila, and I can change the color of that too. So say I wanted to make it the blush, so I'm using all of Jamberry's colors. Just highlight the hex code. And these hex codes uh, for Jambi were given given to us already in a graphic. Now that red dotted line won't show up, so I don't know that I like it that color. So I'm going to go ahead and see what it looks like with the blush. Uh, um, big, I like that. That pops out more. And then if you have like a tagline or something. Um, you can put that in there. Oops. Fresh. This is Jamberries. No. And if you want to change the font, you just go up to the font window and you choose whichever one. Sometimes it takes a while to load. Um, you can choose to make it bigger or bolder or untelicized or whatever, but that's basically all you do. Let's see, I want to make this K lowercase. So it's still thinking about that font. There we go. And now I'm looking at that and I like that. And so I want to change this too. So I'm going to go um, and I'm going to make it a different font too. But you can play around with it as much as you want. Um, then up here, this is what the name of your file is called. So I'm going to change this to uh, Jamberry Personal Business Logo Test because I'm just doing this test with you guys. So you're kind of limited when you use the, the, the text things that they have for you. If you like it though, you can click download and it gives you different types of file types. So if it's something that you're going to have printed, you want to go ahead and do PDF print, and then I would do the crop mark simply, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do just a PNG. And then you hit download and it's going to go to your download folders. Okay. Um, so say I don't, I don't want to do this shape. I'm going to just hit the trash can and the whole thing disappears. I want to create my own. So there are grids that you can do and you can put in different pictures. Whenever you see the landscape, that means you can do different pictures. You can do frames, same kind of deal. They have different shaped ones. 
that are kind of neat. Um, I use shapes all the time. So some of them have just an outline, uh, they're solid, or they'll have both, which I kind of like. So I'm going to go with, hmm, what do I want to go with? I'm just playing around anyway. Let's go with this one. So that's going to populate the square again. Um, since I was already playing around with the colors before I can easily change them. I'm gonna go with gray. Or maybe I want let's go let's do the background blush and then I'm gonna do no. And then I'm gonna do this. There we go. And then you can just go to text. If you wanted to add another shape in there, you could. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to just do regular. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to change the, the font. I like this brusher font. And I like that it has a dotted line to tell you that it's, that would mean it's centered. I want it a little above center. And then I'm gonna add that fresh daring now. Or the rose, I mean. You can change the size. So I'm going to keep it long on the side or wide. I'm going to kind of crunch this down. So you can do whatever you like to do. Um, if you want to copy something, um, you just hit copy and then you've got another version of it. Um, if you click arrange, you can move something forward as many times as you want or back. Um, you can make it more transparent. All kinds of stuff, okay? Um, and you can choose to make it public so people can have your stuff too if you want to. So I'm not going to save it. So that, but you want to create a logo that you can put on everything that's going to identify, people are going to see your stuff and immediately identify it with you. It needs to have your personality. Um, you also want to go ahead and create banners and things like that for your VIP page or business page, things like that, so that you're not just using the stock Jamberry ones, which are great but you're creating your own that's pretty cool and you can use Jamberry's graphics so let's go ahead and see now I've got to go upload those colors again actually I want this to be that slate color so that the logo will pop. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. You always want to have the Jamber Independent Consultant logo. So I had already uploaded it. Um, and then you can shrink it down and place it where you want. Um, Stick this in there. I'm going to make it really big. 
actually kind of the part of it down here in the corner. Um, yeah, I like that one better. Nah, okay. <laughs> so like, see I have so many uploads because I use Canva all the time. Um, you want to find a good like professional shot of you so they're seeing your face. So this is me playing, trying to design my own logos and things. Um, so if I wanted to pop that on there, I could put that in there. Um, trying to find that. Okay, so say this is the picture that I want. I can choose to crop it. Um, which is kind of neat. And shrink me down. And I'm going to put action. Let me go to frames real quick. I don't know what I think about that frame. So I'm going to move. No, I'm just going to delete it. Delete element. Um, use one of these cool shapes. Let's see. Um, this is kind of modern looking, so let's just do that. Let's go back to the uploads. Stick me in there. Shrink me down. That's kind of neat. Whatever. So you can do all kinds of stuff. Add all kinds of different things. And then um, you want to go ahead and have the title of your group in there, so Kim's VIP Jam Group, or something I think is what it's called, what I call it. And then I'm going to change the color again. So, are you guys seeing how easy this is? It's really, really simple. It just takes practice. And I just, again, I learned it through practice. If you don't like something, you can change it and fix it. That's all there is to it. If I want to, this is centered, I can make it right justified. I can make it left justified and then scoot it over. Change the size, scoot this in. Let me move this over. It's that simple, guys. But Stay with the same consistent look. Um, always put your logo on. I need to change my logo now to, to make sure it has the new color scheme. This is the old color scheme. This is the old Jamberry logo. Um, but you want everything to be consistent. You use, and Jamberry gives us the colors. So just use the Jamberry colors and you're good but you want everything to kind of be consistent and it needs to be your own thing so use the same um, font every time but it's really that easy and when you start doing that you're going to build a consistent look and a consistent brand for your business and you're going to look so much more professional um, let me show you real quick I'm I think it can be real quick. I'm going to go to 
this different and I'm going to show you some of the things that I created. So I created them, oh by the way there is 50% off site-wide. Um, I created the, these in Canva and then uploaded them to Vistaprint and got them printed. So I made a magnetic business card using those colors, using my face. I used this um, picture on just about everything. Um, I made these sticky notes. Again, the same type of look. I use the Arial font a lot um, because this is what Jamboree, just like the look for Jamboree at the logo, there's a shirt. Um, I just made these postcards. Again, the same, it's got the same kind of look there. This is that brushless font. Um, and then the Arial font, that rose color. I just made these. Um, this is what I used for my anniversary month, these hearts. Again, the logo, uh, the same type of font. So you want everything to kind of look similar. Um, let's go to my, oh, actually let's go. Mm. So again, this is even just my personal page. I've got that same profile picture. Um, if we go to my VIP group, I use the color cure thing. Um, I need to go ahead and change this. This was this is my pinned post. It was the old Jamber colors, but I have that logo there. Um, I try to see there that is again. I try to be pretty consistent with. See, there it is again, the graphics that I upload. Um, let's go to my business page. Um, it's going to take a while to load. Let's go to photos. So it had the old color scheme, so now I've got to start shifting to the new. This is a start. Um, there's that plum color. So you kind of get the, the idea. Um, but that, that would be my, my tip. Um, create your own look and be consistent with it. And then you're going to look more professional. Um, your marketing materials that you send out are going to look more professional. Um, and, let's see, there it is. There's the post it, you're going to be taken more seriously. You can also use uh, Canva and you can upload your own images, or I said Canva, um, WordSwag and, on your phone and upload images. And you can, while you're on your phone, if you have your images saved on Canva, you can go back and upload those on your phone and post them to social media. So that's all I've got on that. Um, be looking for more training in the future.